Hey guys, Dan Blewett here, and today I'm gonna to teach you about the scap load, the shoulder pinch, these different techniques that we're thinking about in the throwing motion. But before we do, make sure if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. I've got tons of new videos each week on throwing, on the mental side of the game, on strength training and arm care. So if you're interested in throwing harder and learning how to be a better softball player, I highly encourage you to subscribe and just be notified each time I put out a new free video. So today, the scap load. If you haven't heard of this term, you can forget it as soon as this video is over, but what it is is the shoulder blades pulling back when we throw. So I don't use the term scap load, I use the term pull your shoulder blades back because it's easier for everyone to understand and I don't like making things more complicated than they have to be. But with every hard throwing player, the shoulder blades pull back together as the hips are starting to rotate. So what I mean is this. So from the side, if I'm throwing this direction, as my hands break and they come back, instead of me just lifting my arm in a position like this, like the classic L position, I don't wanna break my hands and just lift. It's a combination of my hand going down, pulling back. So again, from this direction, here, you can see my shoulder blades really pinch. So it's like I'm pulling my shoulder blades together as far as I can go. This is called, what they call this a scap load. Your scapula, which are your shoulder blades, are loading. They're pulling together, they're, they're sort of activating as muscles, right? Muscles can contract or they can relax. Your scaps are contracting, so they're loading. So the scap load is important because basically what it does is it sort of hitches the arm up with the train of your upper body. So your lower body starts and that produces your power to begin with. After that, the hips start to rotate and then that power is transferred through the core and then it's transferred to the arm. But when it's time for it to get transferred to the arm, the shoulder blades have to be pulled back. They have to be loaded, they have to be pinched back here so that as the upper body rotates, the arm will stay with the trunk, aka the upper body, and the arm will lay back and then go up and over top. What happens when we don't pinch our shoulder blades back or when our arm doesn't sort of hitch up with our upper body is that the elbow jumps in front and we end up pushing it with a low elbow. So one of the common problems I see in softball players, they throw with a low elbow. When, you, when we get them on video, they look like this or they look like this. So the elbow is below shoulder line. It should be up like this where you have a smooth line from the ball all the way down to my shoulders. So when, anytime we're here, it's usually because I don't see this pinch from behind. See how you can see my right elbow, I'm wiggling it. It's kind of behind my body. There are tons of slow motion video on baseball pitchers especially. It's unfortunate there's not much on softball players, but there's tons of it on baseball pitchers. You will see them do this. You can Google baseball pitcher scap load. Do it. You'll see we have tons of wings where they're pulling back like this. The hardest players in the world, their shoulder blades pull back. Then as the upper body rotates, the arm goes with it and then it com comes up over top. So the scap load is very misunderstood. There's a bunch of different drills. I'll put them in the description below. So if you wanna use a drill that will help fix this. So if you're a person that breaks their hands and lifts straight up and doesn't have a good scap load and you wanna get more to here, which will definitely incre increase your throwing velocity, then definitely check out the links in the video because I'm gonna just send you to another YouTube video where you can do a drill that will actually help to fix this a lot. I work on this a ton with both softball and baseball players, and it's a really important concept. So this is called the scap load. I just call it the shoulder blade pinch because again, I'm trying to use, I'm trying to make things simple, as simple as I can, so that everyone understands what's going on, so we can simplify the throwing motion and then just make progress over time, all right? So if you enjoyed this video, definitely give it a like, share it, and uh, subscribe to my channel because again, I'm putting out new videos each week and I'd love you, for you to be a part of my channel.